Hi guys, this is a quick tutorial on how to insert analog gear like EQs and compressors and stuff like that in your analog summing environment. Depending on the kind of gear you own, stereo, mono, compressors, EQs, whatever, there are two ways you can use them. You can use them on a stem-by-stem -stem basis between your converter and your two bus. For example, inserting an EQ on a bass drum if you want to make it super fat without having to worry about gain staging. Or you can use it after the two bus, before the converter, before returning into the DAW as your main processing or two mix processing. For example, here on my patch bay, I have the output of Pro Tools on the top row, 16 outputs, and then the input of the two bus right under that, 16 inputs. The outputs are half normal to the inputs. So the output of my converters go to the input of my two bus without me patching anything, unless I want to insert some goodies. For example, my bass drum is coming out output one of Pro Tools and is going directly to input one of the two bus. But I want to insert a Mercury EQ on it because it's like a Pultec, makes it fat, I like it. So I'm gonna take the output of Pro Tools channel one into the Mercury, the output of the Mercury into two bus channel one. The Mercury EQ is now inserted between the converter and the two bus. Et voilà. We have seen the benefits of inserting analog hardware on individual tracks. You can do the same thing on your whole mix. For example, you could put an EQ across the whole mix, after the two bus, before the converter. That way, everything in your mix gets affected by that one EQ. In this case, I am using a Dangerous Music Backs EQ. It's been designed just for this purpose. Isn't that wonderful? I am using a little bit of bottom and a little bit of high end. That way, I'm getting a global enhancement using less EQ because I don't have to use as much on individual tracks, and I can change the color of the whole mix just tweaking one box, and I can do it in the analog domain, which I dig. On the patch bay, I would come out of the two bus recording outputs, feed them into the back EQ. The output of the back EQ into the inputs of your converter, which is fed to your DAW. Thank you for watching, I hope this helped. Happy inserting.